by now we learned how we can get data, how we can work with data and databases, how we can connect data with relations, and how we can use the admin panel to manage data. The problem is not all data will be managed or generated through that admin panel because that admin panel is really meant for you as the developer, as the owner of this site, not for all your visitors. So you therefore also often need a way for your visitors to insert some data which you then might store in a database or somewhere else. You need to work with user input, you want to provide forms for your users, and that's therefore what we're going to dive in in this course section. And not directly related to that, but still something I'll also cover in this section will be class-based views. So that in this section we will learn how we can create and handle forms outside of this admin panel. So now we're really talking about forms that are exposed to our website visitors. We're also going to have a look at different ways of handling those forms and how we can simplify that form management for us when working with Django. And then towards the end of this section, we're going to leave forms and go back to views and learn about an alternative way of creating views, an alternative to what we used thus far, an alternative that will make a lot of sense once we also had a look at forms and at handling user input. So let's dive right in.